In this lecture, we talk about defensive strategies, defensive positioning, if you will. That means that your organization is likely to be encountering competition, perhaps some strategic initiatives, offensive initiatives by some of your competitors. How does one think about the process of defending one's turf, defending one's area? The idea is to make sure actions are taken which defend one's competitive advantage. That's one thing you can do. This rarely leads to extended, extending one's position, but it's more protecting one's position in the marketplace. Still important and useful, not necessarily moving towards greater market share, but protecting one's market share and what one has and where one is hoping, how one hopes to continue to sustain itself by protecting its position. One way to do this is by lowering the risks of being attacked, that is by honing up and, and making it perhaps even more proprietary some of your, your technologies or your intellectual property. Other types of ways of protecting one's turf, regulatory, government, government influence, that sort of thing, but other things as well. Also, you might want to be able to try and mitigate or weaken the potential of an attack from someone else. If you expect someone to come in with a lower pricing strategy, you might take some preemptive activities to reduce your cost structure, reduce your cost basis, so that when those pricing strategies come in, those pricing reductions by competitors come in, you can meet them or improve them or even preemptively lower your price so you can prove to your competitors that it won't make, them, it won't make a difference if they come in and try to lower the price even, even more. And you might also, by being aggressive and strong in these ways, you might want to, you might force them to try and address or competitively attack with their offensive proposals or offensive actions some of your rivals instead of you. If they're going to take on a lot of damage by taking you on in your marketplace and you'll ultimately win anyway, they're likely to take some of their strategic efforts and move them elsewhere. One way to do that is to get alternative technologies that you can use or switch to if you need to that, that uh, can help you become more efficient and more effective, maybe lower your cost. You might want to have alternative distribution channels, alternative suppliers, those kinds of things. You might want to introduce new features and functions that the competitor doesn't have so that you have attributes of your product that you can market to if they come after you. You might want to try to make sure your pricing is as low as possible and that you can prove that it's lower than they can achieve, potentially, so that if they come in, you can meet them with a price they can't match. You might want to think about uh, limiting buyers or tar starting to distinguish your brand from your brand from the competitive's brand, that, those sorts of things. Uh, perhaps even make early announcements about product launches, some new products you're coming out with which would uh, cause the competitors to, if they're coming at you with your old products, you can always be pushing the fact that you have new products coming out and that will, in some sense, mitigate some of the risk associated with losing your old products. You also might want to start challenging a little bit in, um, in comparative advertising the quality of your products. You know, you do a taste test or whatever and start to show that your product has more customers that want your product than theirs. So even if their pricing starts to come down, you still have uh, quality attributes that you can target with your marketing. You might want to get loyal customers, create additional loyalty with customers, maybe get better discounts for intermediaries like your distribution channels. You give a better deal to distribution channels so they continue to push your product um, in the retail space or whatever it is uh, because you're giving them, they make more money by selling your product than by, the, by selling competitive products. So these are different ways that one can, can, um, can position yourself against the competitors coming in to take space from you and make it very costly for them to come and try to take market share from you and ultimately ward them off and continue to maintain or maybe even strengthen the market position you have. This can also be done preemptively, as I said before, by signaling to the challengers that if they come in, it's going to be a tight, tough fight. You're not giving up space easily. They're gonna, it's going to be bloody using this analogy of this sort of battlefield if they come in. You might announce that your commitment to maintain your share, maintain your customers, maintain your, um, your pricing strategy or your cost basis, that you're not going to leave a certain market. You might announce that you're committed to matching any competitive price. Uh, lots of advertising that says we match whatever if somebody comes in and they, it, you will match any price in the marketplace, that sort of thing. 
You might want to build up your cash position so that you could actually lower prices to a loss position if necessary for a period of time uh, to sustain your market share. Nobody has to know you're losing, but you have the cash to support that to maintain your position. And you make uh, responding. They cut prices, you cut them further. They cut on one area, you cut in a different area to make sure that it's painful for the competitors to come into your market. Much easier for them to go after both of your competitors, a third party rival, rather than you. And you signal that that's the sort of thing you're going to do. It'll be bloody. Go somewhere else. Go into someone else's territory. That's the sort of thing that you try to push from a defensive strategy. All of these things have timing elements to them. To them. Strategic offensives, blue ocean strategy, uh, defensive strategies. There's timing associated with these, whether you want to do things first or you wait and follow, whatever. We'll talk about those in the next lecture when we talk about the, 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 the dynamics of strategy, the timing dynamics of strategy. We'll see you then.